Bob Engels, President of Retail Markets for Verizon. What's the future going to be for, for people that are breaking into the new digital media? And how's, the, how's Fiverr going to help us facilitate that in new, new okay. network? So I guess the first question would be um, regarding the new FIA, uh, FIOS network, am I pronouncing it correct? FIOS network, uh, Verizon FIOS network. How is that going to change uh, the future of uh, entertainment? Um, when you say, okay, entertainment is one piece of the whole game. So FIOS is broadband. Voice, video, and data will go over the broadband network. So if you talk about entertainment, you're talking about subscription TV, we think we're delivering all digital, massive high definition capability, on-demand content as good as anybody, at a, at a, at a value proposition, choice and, and breadth that I don't think anybody else can match. So it's the capacity of the network that really is the differentiator. Awesome. Uh, what kind of access is, is Verizon looking to give? Right now it seems like you know, your network uh, is giving access to, uh, say, like News Corp and, and traditional producers like that. Is, are they looking to move into any more independent access at this so point? So when you're talking about access, you're here talking about linear content. So we have Fox right. News, we have MTV, we have Disney, sure, sure. ESPN. Yeah, so the traditional linear lineup is what we have, four, almost 400 channels, right. linear content. The, uh, I think the opportunity, which is the add-on, the, the follow-on, is going to be how many independent producers are there out there? Who wants to watch Cricket from India? Who wants to watch the Cooking Channel from Korea? Who wants to watch Irish soccer? And so that's content that's sitting out there, that there are, in some cases, aggregators of that content who, who see this platform as a way to deliver it. So what we're doing is we're building the ability to enable un unlimited, in quotes, content you know, access to our customers. And it'll be over the broadband or IP side of the delivery, not the QAM or the broadcast side. And, and that's one of the things that's unique about our product. It's a hybrid product. We, we have linear broadcast, and we have IP access over the same set-top box. Right, and right. so uh, that's something that nobody else has out in the marketplace. Uh, one thing that is the, the biggest problem um, with the future of, uh, of fiber saying to produce, uh, replace in a way uh, what the cable networks are doing, or getting uh, visual media content or digital visual media content into your house, has been that when you hook your computer up to your television, it just doesn't look very good. Yep. So the pipe just hasn't been big enough. So basically the fiber is what fixes that problem? No, it's not fiber. That's interesting you ask that. Um, fiber is, is the enable to get it to the side of the house. It's the home network that really is the differentiator. Right. And again, I think the, uh, the value proposition of the customer is when we put this in, we bring it to the house and then we deliver it throughout the house. So it's cross devices, whether it be PCs, screen phones, TV sets, and the ability now to see high fidelity content from your PC on your 60 inch TV is there and the quality is such that you'll watch it. Because right. uh, we, we are building basically, you know, it's two networks. It's our public network, Fiber, right. and it's your private home network. And so we go and install Fios Internet, Fios TV. Our person goes in, installs it, connects it to your computer. So when they leave, the customer just has to click on Internet Explorer, and they're on the web. They turn on their TV, and they're watching TV. They want to watch their digital photos from their PC. They go to, you know, My Media, sure. look at it, click on their picture, and watch their photo out. And that's really what it does. And I think that's, that's something that put our brand with our 100 years of delivering service, and I don't think anybody else is going to match it. I hear you. Uh, I guess the last question, it seems like we're running out of time, would, be, uh, would, would go back to what is, what's the difference then if you're saying if, if it's not a pipe issue, um, which I, I still don't really understand. But you say it's not a pipe issue. I, I don't understand. The fiber as opposed to, to make it look better? As, a, as opposed to cable. Like, it seems to me it's the bandwidth. You're offering more bandwidth yeah. so you can actually have a real... No, I guess what I was trying to say, maybe I misspoke or I didn't I say it right, it is that uh, the delivery to the home is one thing. Right. The integration cross-platform is the other. And it's the combination of the two that really make ours unique. Cable's got a good platform. They're delivering cable modems. They're delivering high-definition TV and a video on demand across the country. Most every major cable operator has those services. So it's not that they can't deliver those things. It's the next level. It's how do you now integrate the data and the, and the linear content? How do you show, you know, what is the next generation of television? Is it IPTV? Probably so. That's what everybody thinks. Uh -huh. and, and I think the, uh, the, the pipe is one factor. Where we can start to leverage our, uh, our technology is 100 megabits to the home. There is nobody out there today that I believe has a roadmap to deliver 100 megabits and still deliver 400 digital channels to the home. Right, Not right. either or, it's and. And, and so that's, uh, that's really the difference. If I could get one last question, like plus sure. B or whatever, it would be, uh, 
once it once you get it to the house, you get it into the box in the house. Uh, I think you know a lot of people are going to be willing to go that far. But once you get it inside the house, rewiring the whole house, having access in every room for this, uh, is this something that's going to be accessible through traditional phone line, through traditional cable lines in the house, or is it going to be wireless and broadband inside the house? Bluetooth? Well, today we uh, we put in uh, a little router and uh, wired or wireless. Uh, that's the early platform, but the long-term platform is really using Mocha technology, oh, wow. multimedia over co uh, cable or coax, oh, wow. and using the internal coax system that's already in the house. So we're not really talking about rewiring the home. That's funny. We're it's really cool. talking about taking the in internet that's already there, intranet, and using the ready-made technology in the home and delivering. That's fantastic. All right, thank you very much for okay. time. Thanks. Great. Good to see you, Sean. Take care.